Okay, we got. Stay tuned, there's more of this fish later on in the video. Wednesday, it is uh, water, temp. Yeah. water temp 79 degrees. It was as low as 78 yesterday. It warmed up a little bit because we had a little bit of sunshine. Got up to 82. Tarpon were still around, not as thick as they were, but uh, they're still here. And the mullet run was still going on a little bit in the river. And I uh, jumped one tarpon yesterday and caught a small, someone caught a small redfish, 19 inch redfish. That was about it, a lot of ladyfish. I uh, saw a lot of tarpon, just couldn't get a bite. So that's where we're at. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, There's supposed to be some later on thunderstorms. We'll see how that goes. And uh, thanks for watching. Hello, this is Jeff again and uh, fishing the mullet around downtown and realizing on uh, day four it's not just mullet. Uh, there is a bunch of ladyfish. I mean thousands of them and I can actually now tell the difference between a mullet and a ladyfish on live scope so uh, that's been very interesting. Still uh, can't hook one on an artificial, in this area anyway, I did over in Mill Cove, but still struggling to uh, hook up. I've sharpened the hooks to a needle point and just can't keep them stuck. I uh, never get tired of their acrobatics.
If you're not familiar with live scope or forward facing sonar, I've got several videos uh, catching fish and just uh, live, scope, live scope footage, so take a look at that. A few moments later So I finally decided to break down and try some live bait. I was trying to catch some mullet but uh, picked up a couple of uh, small ladyfish. So I was free lining it with a split shot just a couple feet up from the hook. So we'll see how that does. One of the challenges is setting drag on a live bait uh, when it's set in a rod holder. It's got to be strong enough to set the hook, but not too strong. You can't get the rod out of the rod holder. Okay, we got Live ladyfish did it, huh? Where am I? That crate's right here.
So it spent a lot of time down at the bottom uh, in the 24 foot, 22 to 24 foot area of the river there. Um, just kind of stayed underneath my boat, which was very annoying because I had to keep spinning around in circles with the trolling motor and it just would not get out from underneath my boat. So I've uh, upgraded to 80 pound test mono liter uh, and uh, hopefully that'll hold up a little better and I can put a little more pressure on them. I was a little worried about putting too much pressure on them and breaking that liter and you'll see why. Okay, we're back. Still haven't been to the main line. It's an hour and 35 minutes. It's still got a lot of energy, just go from there. So I lost the rear camera battery died, uh, external battery died, and then my front camera, my hat camera, uh, I had to shut it off to save battery. Hopefully it would last through the end of the fight. Um, it's one of the problems with you know, fishing alone is uh, battery life on these uh, cameras. Yeah, those darn crab traps, uh, I knew they were going to get in the way. There's a whole mess of crab traps in that area. Okay, this could be it. I'm going to get around this crab trap. Okay. Damn crab traps.
Yeah, I appreciate the comments about trying to uh, hook these on artificial, but I'm not sure I want to go through this again. Uh, it was a two-hour fight, and um, I was as, as exhausted as the fish was. Yeah, I hooked him in the upper lip, but that line is frayed really bad right above the hook. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Yeah, I hate that. That's uh, not good. Uh, that fish needed to be revived. I hope it uh, swam off okay. Hey, thanks uh, for watching and uh, keep on watching and uh, go back and watch some of my other videos if you have not or are not a subscriber. I've got almost 300 videos now posted on fishing, mostly the St. John's River between downtown and the Shannon's Bridge. And thanks again. Appreciate it.